Welcome back for another Coffee Corner. Um, if you never listened to one before, it's just me with a cup of joe. Uh, today we got the Disneyland. <clears throat> Mark, does it say Disney? On one side it says Disneyland. The other side says Mickey. Can you see it? And then the Mickey he kind of sticks out. I've said before that the, the mugs I like tend not to just be smooth with a printed on. I like texture or so I don't know kind of weird to have a tactile thing with a coffee mug but that's the way it is uh today we are having brazil oberon natural coffee this is my first first time having that i haven't even had a sip of it yet um let's see when was it roasted roasted on 2-8 so uh, just over a month ago i got a bunch of beans from him that day and this is the last one to be opened um anyway i pick a topic uh, just sit here, have a cup of coffee, chat about it. Uh, when the coffee's gone, the video's over. That's the way it works. Um, cheers. Um, so today I'm talking about uh, boycotts. <clears throat> and it's interesting because this was one of the original topics I thought of bringing up. Um, because it's kind of something... Uh, that for me, from time to time, kind of lingers under the surface of uh, the shaving cadre, the forums, and it isn't brought up, I think, in terms of respect and uh, not uh, creating any drama or anything. Um, but also, in the last month or so, it's come up multiple times um, in some other venues, and I just got to thinking about, all right, well, now seems like a good time to bring it up. Um, and I did mention it once in one of my shaving videos. Uh, so I think I'm going to talk about boycotts from two aspects. One is to actually trying to influence something or change somebody's behavior or change their business practices or something. The other one is just uh, because you stand for something and your own ethics and your own values and uh, it's important to you. <clears throat> and that's the only reason why. Um, and I think at least every boycott at least has to start with that one, right? That it's something important to you, it's your own values. Um, otherwise, what, what would be the point? Um, but so for me, um, and, and our families, my wife and I, uh, there are several businesses that we, I guess, boycott won't give our business to just based on their own ethics um, and I decided I wasn't going to name any of the companies some of them might not be hard uh, to figure out um, but you know one restaurant a couple of stores um, the restaurant actively uh, kind of uh, supports uh, inequality not supporting everybody and again there's a difference between just not doing anything, going about your business and actively supporting groups or things that actively look to make things non-equitable or not treat everybody the same or inclusively. And I would think as a, as a business, I mean, I guess you, you own your business, do what you want, but um, kind of seems like an odd venue to have some of those stances where everybody's not the same but I guess, like I said, if it's your business, you can you can have your own beliefs. And I guess you put your money where your mouth is just the opposite of a boycott, right? Is it, uh, that's where we're going to, all of our earnings and stuff, not all of them, but we'll support whatever we believe in with our earnings. Um, same with a, uh, one of the stores that, that we have never gone into. And it, <clears throat> it's kind of a bummer. There's one not too far from us that um, I hear is wonderful. I think it would have an awful lot of stuff that we would be interested in. But again, um, they've made some business choices that are just kind of not, not equitable and important enough to us that it's like, all right, just for our own uh, ethics, our money is not going to go there. And then another big store that just doesn't treat their employees well or their vendors well. Been in there before. Um, they're known just to have the cheapest price on just about anything that they carry. But again, uh, not not worth it knowing how they treat people. It's like, I, I don't want my money going there. 
So that's kind of the, the easiest way to describe things, but obviously it's not nearly that simple. And I did bring this up uh, on one of my shavers, shaves uh, because there are some shaving companies that shave soaps uh, for the most part <clears throat> that I will not support. Uh, some of them based on first-hand knowledge of um, their customer service. Um, that's that's mainly it. And then um, some reports by people that I trust about comments that have been made by owners uh, that I find uh, somewhat offensive or maybe they were trying to be funny but it's just not appreciated and in my mind there's so many soap vendors that it's like why you know pick you've got so many to choose from it doesn't hurt me at all to not support those that I've run across that uh, just don't have good customer service or their owners or people that I just would not want to associate with anyway So, but, uh, uh, and so, so I mentioned that, you know, some of it is about your own ethics and some of it is like wanting to change a business and I'm not delusional at all. I don't think any of the places that I choose not to shop at notice my, my lack of business. Even if I like shop from them exclusively, it wouldn't, uh, change their bottom line one way or another, but it's just, again, for my own peace of mind knowing that I'm doing the right thing uh, seems like it's an important thing to do um, but <clears throat> that brings up the, the, the question of if it doesn't change anything then what's the difference and I guess that's just what well, I was going to heart head wherever just inside of you where that difference is and there uh, again there's these few companies that you know, I would feel really bad going in there and handing over my money or my credit card or whatever, knowing what they've done. Um, is it going to change anything? No. Uh, but that came up one time uh, when the Olympics came around. Uh, There's a quick kind of discussion about, hey, who's excited about the Olympics? And some folks said, well, I'm not going to watch them this year based on uh, the Chinese government practices and, and uh, not, not treating everybody uh, nice and friendly. But then the flip side of that is, is it, well, and I guess that's, if that's the way you feel, then that's important for you to do. So, and it, it's everybody's individual decision. But one, obviously that won't change anything, right? We're not going to change their politics. You're not going to change the Olympics happening or not, whatever. But the flip side of that is there's still Americans in the Olympics that how do you show support for them? But again, you get back to whether your TV is on Friends reruns or the Olympics at home, nobody knows what you're watching, right? It that, that doesn't send a message back to the Chinese, nor do the Americans know that you're supporting them or not or whatever. So it just goes, I guess, to, to uh, what's important to you personally. Um, so this coffee, the Brazil Oberon, not bad, definitely drinkable, not, not my thing though, it's very, uh, a lot of citrus, and I don't go, I don't mind a little citrus note on top of some cacao or something like that, just a little bit too much citrus for me, noted, I'll forget that by the end of this video, right, I keep thinking, you know, I'll write that down, I'll make a note, yeah, I'll probably order it again. <laughs> Be like, oh yeah. Uh, so something else that's come up uh, in the last few weeks is, is one of our daughters brought up the fact that <clears throat> somebody mentioned that some company sends money to some organization. Again, no reason to get into specifics. And so they, you know, uh, all these people are saying boycott them, you know, don't don't support them, this and that. And I kind of just say, well, where do you get that information from? She says, oh, the, the internet. You know, somebody posted whatever. I said, well, have you checked on that yourself? I mean, no. 
And so that brings up an interesting thing that she really wasn't aware of, and I don't know again how many people are. And this is, I'm by no way advocating for, you need to do all sorts of research on any company that, that you do business with, because that's just not practical. But I mentioned, say in the United States, you know, if you're very f f uh, aligned with one of the political parties, and you find out, I think didn't this come up like McDonald's or something? There's a big article, they gave money to one of the, the parties and everybody just jumps on the, the bad bandwagon with their opinions about that. And then shortly after, but not nearly as publicized, it's like, yeah, and they gave the same amount to the other party. And I said, this is pretty typical in especially American politics is you give money as a business to everybody because whoever, ends up in office or can do you a favor or you need support from you can say hey we donated x amount to your campaign you know can you please meet with us or give us give us a favor or whatever so in that case they really aren't supporting a view or a party or whatever they're just this is kind of american business right is grease grease the wheels so in order to somebody you know see something posted that they donated to whatever and you're going to boycott based on that it's like i guess you do whatever you want but are you doing it with with good knowledge does that make any sense just to take somebody are you aware that people donate to both sides of an issue all the time but the other part of the conversation that um i was trying to bring up with her is there's also a difference between, because uh, conversation didn't get far, but I think we're headed down the road as to, you know, why some people boycott some things and other people kind of don't care. And cause that's, that's the way I feel sometimes is that the places that we boycott, obviously we do it because it seems pretty clear cut that they just are not, don't fit with our ethics, right? And our ethics aren't anything more than kind of be nice to everybody support everybody don't exclude anybody and just live your life right um and so when people say oh you know the food here was great or we're stopping by here or just hey it's whatever's on sale at this store i don't get into it again if you were an activist or whatever and it'd make a bigger difference if you took every opportunity to say why do you support them and this and that but you also probably wouldn't have a lot of friends if you did that all the time but um there's a difference between, and, and so it could be that some people, and in our, our cases, it would be hard to believe that most people don't know some of the practices of these businesses because they've been very well publicized. Uh, some have ended up in court cases. Um, <clears throat> but I could boycott, take the, take the soap people. The people that I boycott, other people buy the heck out of. And it's likely that they just haven't had the same interactions I have or learned about the same things that I have. And so are they bad for supporting those businesses? No, I mean, they don't have the knowledge to base a decision on about, okay, they kind of did this crappy thing. Now I need to decide, am I gonna give them my business or not? You know, so if you're not, and that's, that's what I was saying too about it. It's kind of impractical to do research on every company you do business with. Um, I guess that's a sad but true thing because we could be, I could be supporting the heck out of some business that just has terrible ethics that I'm just not aware of. And it's impractical to, like I said, to do research on everybody you do business with. Um, and you know, would I expect somebody to come up to me and say, well, why are you buying from this person? Did you know this and that? But then once I'm aware of it, then you kind of can't act like you've got your head in the sand. And that's, that's what I find interesting is when people that I feel kind of would have the same kind of mindset, but make the opposite decisions and things like this, knowingly knowing what these companies do and then still give them your business is kind of what seems a little weird to me but again it's it's in here right is like you know that it's not going to change their business business practices so maybe you, you put your mental energies into something else
but it's funny kind of somewhat related not totally boycotting but um, a YouTube rabbit hole sent me down to watching uh, this lawyers videos super interesting <clears throat> but he brought up um, the issue of uh, stores that check your receipt when you leave and some stores uh, say like club stores where you have to have a membership part of your membership is that you agree to have your receipt checked on the way out so you really don't have any argument you might not like it you might think it's ridiculous but you agree to having that done with your membership other stores um, it's just a, a business practice trying to reduce loss theft that kind of thing right where by law apparently if you really stood up and fought it they can't stop you unless they've seen suspect uh, that you have actually stolen something have reason to suspect it but his, his point was and I kind of really enjoyed this because there's this whole now people calling people sheep because they just do things that they're told to do without thinking about it and you know which I don't know, that's a that's a whole nother topic about just uh, you know name calling and stuff instead of trying to have a conversation but uh apparently that goes on with this group of people too right the the ones that uh, think i'm going to stand up i'm not going to show my receipt everybody that shows their receipt receipt you're just a bunch of sheep you're just doing it because they ask you to but you don't have to and don't be sheep don't do it and his point was well who's actually the sheep because by the time you get to the checkout, by the time you get to the door where they're asking for this, they already have your money. You've already gone there. You've already given them your money or your credit card. You have the product. You've already supported this business. What's your point at that point? You're some minimum wage worker at the door that you're giving a hard time to, but you've already financially supported that company. So who's the sheep? I thought that was a, that's a great point is again, and boycotts shouldn't necessarily always be easy. The restaurant that we boycott, their food is delicious. I would like to go there from time to time. Is it killing me not to? No. Would I like to? Yes. Is it weird when people ask themselves questions to answer themselves? Yeah. Can't they just say what they want to say without the question? Probably. Same with uh, these other ones. One store, whatever, save me a little money. Big, big, big deal. And maybe that becomes a privilege thing, right? If you aren't paycheck to paycheck, you have the ability to shop somewhere that costs a little bit more versus needing to save every dollar that you can. That's a completely different argument, and maybe applies to you know less expensive stores. You can't apply that to a, a restaurant, all right? There's there's choice where you go for restaurants and you don't have to eat out. So you can't really say, well, you know, their fries were on sale, so I had to I had to go there. I have to save every dollar. How about you just don't have french fries? Anyway, but one of the stores, like I said, it sounds like we would enjoy a lot of what's there and probably spend a lot of money um, and be neat to look through, but I've never stepped foot in one. And so it's, is it, I think you can't really call it a boycott if it's not something you would do anyway. So these guys that are, you know, really want to fight, you know, the store that wants to look at your receipt on the way out, come on, put your dollars where your, where your ethics are. If you really feel that strongly that you're going to create an argument with some poor person just doing their job at the door, don't go there. Don't give them your money. You've already given them your money. What, what what are you doing? Yeah. I like that argument. But so, yeah. It's interesting just to think about what's the point and what are we doing. And I think some of the kids get it. Some of them don't. You know, we get told that's silly. Like, they, like they're going to go out of business because you don't go there. And I say, of course they won't, but it means something to us and we don't want to give them our money. And, they, and one of them just doesn't get it. And I know they go to that restaurant from time to time when they're not with us. And uh, that's where it gets a little frustrating. 
I mentioned a little bit about kind of respect for others, you know, as your parents, you know how we feel and you know how strongly we feel to the point we won't give them our business. Um, and so it would, that would show a little bit of a respect that it wouldn't kill you not to go there. And as long as you know you're living at home and all this stuff to kind of support what we, what we feel, but also that's our ethics, not theirs. And so that's kind of where the conversation ended some time ago. And now it's like, every, you're old enough to make your own decisions. If it doesn't matter to you, then whatever. And we just hope at some point in their lives, there's something important enough for them to stand up for that they know won't make a difference, but it's important to do. Well, there we go. Hopefully another interesting conversation, unsolicited. But, well, I guess they're, if you came here on purpose, they're solicited, right? Are you soliciting my advice? Thank you. Catch you on the forum.